This is Pierre from Pierre Speaks, and this is your wellness edition. And today I'd like to talk to you about eating on the go. Today I had a meeting at work. And one of the things I noticed is everyone was so concerned about the eating arrangements for the day. And I just heard all these grumblings and it just kind of made this topic jump into my head. And I think it's a good one. It's one of the things that people always want to talk to me about after they found out I've lost weight and things like that. So they always ask, how do I handle you know, my, my organization as far as eating and things like that. Well, one of the things that I like to do is for any, there is no point in my life where I know that I'm going to go somewhere or if I just come up with a plan to go somewhere or anything like that. One of the first things that's going to be done is I'm going to take care of my eating situation. For one, this is important for me because I can't always eat at the at my destinations. This is because I have food allergies. I'm lactose intolerant and I'm gluten intolerant. So a lot of times I may go visit people and they can't feed me properly. So I have to fend for myself. And in order to keep myself from eating in a way that I don't want to, and that could be by consuming dairy, by consuming lactose, or just eating foods that aren't good for me. I always plan ahead and I always take food with me. Whenever I, you know, just knowing how long, however long I'm gonna, or having an estimation of how long my visit is gonna be, I will pack food to accommodate that. So there's been plenty of times I might go visit my friend on the weekend, Mike, go, you know, we will get a good Madden session in or something like that where I'm there like four hours. So I know, okay, I'm, I'm gonna need to handle this. And so I'll take, I'll take some protein bars with me, may take a shake, I'll take some nuts, take fruit, things like that. Just, just stuff to tie me over. And I mean, there's been, I think there was even one time I took, I took a meal because I knew, you know, it was gonna be that long of a time. But again, everyone doesn't eat like me. And I know that I do eat, an, I tend to eat a little, um, better than the people I know, but I don't really try to force my opinions and my ideas on, on everyone around me. So I don't, I don't have to, even though he's my host for the day, I'm not going to say, well, you have to have this, you know, get me some gluten-free something or <laughs> something like that. I'm no, I don't, I don't never ever do it like that. I just kind of take care of myself and it's just something I've become used to. And in that you, you just, like I said, it keeps you from uh, making snap decisions. And usually when we make snap decisions, especially with eating, they aren't the best. So I'm able to track easier what I'm, my intake is and uh, things like that. So that's one of the main ways that I am able to keep uh, myself intact with eating on the go. And so today in this meeting, everybody was just so... Um, just so concerned with what what was going to be arrangements for for lunch and like me I, I probably was the only person there who really could could have cared less because I knew that more than likely whatever they had would not be so peer friendly that's typically how it is and I'm I'm not I'm all right with that other people may give me crap about it or always wonder why I'm not doing this or why I'm not eating this. I'm like, look, I can't. But you'd be, you'd be surprised that even when you explain to, to people, look, I have allergies or, or I, you know, I just don't want to eat like that, how much crap you get from them because of it. It just kind of blows my mind. It, it, it's almost like, you know, this world we're in now is, is like a, a big recess elementary school recess like if you don't do you don't want to play kickball with us you're 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 a punk or something like that it, it just kind of that's the way the world is it, it doesn't really take so kindly to individuality and I'll never sit and say there and comment on what they're eating I just 
quietly do what I do. And it just kind of gets people to wondering what's going on with him. And they always ask questions and they always come judgmentally and all this stuff. But yet I'm still here and I'm still going to keep doing it my way. But it's just uh, it's one of those things that I've always had to fight. But again, this is a, a good way to um, offset being our mobile lives. Plan, plan, plan your meals ahead of time when you when you're going to go somewhere so you won't have to, you know, eat stuff that is on a fast food menu. Yeah. This is Pierre Speaks with your wellness edition. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your uh, thoughts are and if, if you've had this problem and uh, or if you have any suggestions yourself. Let's just discuss it. So hit the comments, hit the like, and hit the subscribe button. As always, because Pierre wants to continue to put out content for you to consume. Again, this is Pierre at Pierre's.